A new year brings new hope and the dawn of a new season in the midst of the ongoing pandemic. Hello everyone, my name is Ted Brennan and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we preview the winter sports season of 2021. Things are starting to feel a little more normal around here with the return of winter sports almost 10 months after the final official practices. For those teams participating in the winter season, there will be some noticeable changes to help keep student athletes safe and mitigate the spread of the virus. No fans or limited spectators at all events. The FCAC has created a condensed regular season schedule with new divisions. There will be conference playoffs, but no state tournaments. The one glaring absence from this year's winter sports calendar is wrestling. Mats in the South Gym have been replaced by desktops. Deemed a high-risk sport by the Department of Public Health, there will not be a single wrestling match contested this winter. The boys and girls indoor track teams will conduct outdoor workouts this winter, but no sanctioned indoor meets have been scheduled. That could potentially change in March. The competitive cheer season has also been shelved because, like wrestling, it was deemed a high-risk sport by the Department of Public Health. Taking a look at the boys and girls ice hockey season is Peter McLean, who's standing by at the Darien Ice House. Peter. Thanks, Ted. Boys and girls hockey will look different this year beyond just having little to no fans at the arena. Players will be required to wear a mask during game time, and thus there will be a one minute mask break at the four, eight, and 12 minute marks of each period. On the boys side, Darien fell to New Canaan in the FCAC final last year before the season was canceled because of the pandemic. Darien finished the year 18 and six and was hoping to make a deep run to the state tournament. The team has been working hard this off season despite not knowing what a season might actually look like. We, we're fortunate to have the opportunity to play right now. Um, so we're just gonna, every day is gonna be a new day. Uh, if we were allowed to play today, we're playing today. If something gets shut down tomorrow, we're just gonna roll with it, roll with the punches. Um, and really just every time we're on the ice, we're gonna pretend like it's our last. Luckily, we have a big senior class this year full of good players and good leaders. So we're all kind of doing the job. It's not just me, Sam, and Jameson. Everyone's helping out. We're, we're super focused on the ice. Yeah, it was difficult at first, just the gap between when the season got delayed and everything. But in some ways, I think it's helped just because it's got me nothing else is really going on. Like we have online school and everything. So it's kind of got me locked in on this one thing. So it's kind of a good motivational factor. On the girls' side, Darian was eager to take on Greenwich in the state semifinal last year before it was abruptly halted due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The Blue Wave looks to build on last year's 16-win season. I think it's made us more eager to get out there and just excited to see what we can do. Um, we know our time is pretty limited, but we think there's enough room for us to kind of show our stuff. Yeah, I think we're all grateful just to get as much of the season in as we can. Obviously, last year our season got cut short. We weren't able to finish it off with going into states and everything, so we're all just really excited. Like, like you said, we've been playing together since some of us were in second, third grade, so we've just gotten to know each other really, really well. We're grateful every practice to be here, and we, know, we never know what, when it could be our last practice, so we're just giving it our all and being excited to be on the ice every day and just grateful for each practice, and hopefully games will start soon that we're super excited for and have been pre preparing a lot. So. Seemingly just one COVID spike away from cancellation, both teams look to find early success in an effort to take advantage of whatever chances they might have to play. Thanks, Ted. Back to you. Thanks, Pete. Shifting the boys' basketball, there's a new face on the Blue Wave sideline, but it is a familiar one. Coach Sheroy Bentley returns to Coach Darian after a year away from the game. The Blue Wave boys' basketball team is looking to make some noise this season after winning just one game a year ago. Junior captains Miles Drake and Carson Drake and senior captain Amir Preston are back as the Blue Wave look to contend in the FCAC West. I mean, it hasn't changed that much, but, you know, with uh, little stuff here and there, we can't obviously uh, be in the gym as much and it changes uh, with practicing and obviously wearing masks, but uh, we'll be ready for the start of the season. I mean, it's tough. I mean, going through it, not knowing if we're going to play, if we're not going to play, it's tough. You don't know, like, you always got to be ready to go, so... I mean, I'm ready to go. I hope, I hope the team's ready to go, and I'm excited for what we have. You know, I think a lot of people uh, have been working really hard the off season. I think we, we were really young last year, so we're just looking to build, practice hard, and I think, I think we'll be all right. Taking a look at the girls' basketball season, here's DAF Media's Kate DeMarc. Kate. 
Thanks, Ted. Longtime head coach Melba Chambers has opted to sit out this season due to the ongoing COVID pandemic. Last year's JV coach Ian Bosser will fill in for Chambers. The Blue Wave is super excited to build on last season's nine wins. Darian lost three starters to graduation, but this year's captains are confident the Wave can be in the hunt in the FCAC West. Yeah, it really means a lot. Just like you said, a month ago we weren't really sure what we were kind of seeing. And as a senior, you know, I kind of dreamed of this year, you know, what my senior year is going to look like. So right now, I and my whole team are just really grateful to be back out on the court. We've got some really good young talent. I mean, losing Coach Chambers was pretty it, it was a bummer, but we have Ian. He knows the ropes just as much as she did. And I think that what's awesome is that we get we don't have to play just four teams like the fall fall sports did, but we get to play almost all teams. I think we're just all excited to be back together and it brings a little normalcy back in this really abnormal time. And we're just excited for the games that we get to play. It's less than normal, but it's better than anything. And we're just really excited. Darian's schedule features games against longtime conference rivals New Canaan and Greenwich. Back to you, Ted. The Darian boys swim and dive team is just two years removed from a state championship. They'll be looking to make another splash in the pool this season. Greenwich and New Canaan make up a loaded conference schedule for Darian. No more than two teams can compete in the same pool at the same time. And of course, everyone who is not competing must wear masks. Um, I think definitely we're losing some of the team aspects. I mean, usually we have a lot of activities to do um, during kind of winter break and a little bit into February break, and I think we've kind of missed out on that. We have a very short season, and we're not going to have as many meets as usual, so we're definitely going to try to take advantage of everything we have. Uh, we don't have our main goal, which would be to win another state championship, but uh, we can go for the little things like beating New Canaan. Darian has long had one of the most successful public high school boys and girls squash programs in the state. For the second straight season, the Ox Ridge Club will be home to the Blue Wave squash programs. Because of the COVID-19 restrictions, Darian will only be able to play other public high schools in southwestern Connecticut this season. But the student athletes are just happy to step onto the court. It's really special, um, you know, given everything that's happened this year with the end of the winter season last year, kind of getting cut short, and then spring season, obviously, I think we really want to take advantage of the opportunity we've been given, uh, make sure everyone stays safe and healthy, obviously. We're really excited. Um, we, we're just starting back this week. Um, we really didn't know if we were going to have a season, so it's good that we get a few weeks in. Um, we have a lot of matches scheduled, so it's going to be good. I was waiting for a long time about whether it was going to happen or not. I was in and out of various different clinics, and you know, there's nothing that can really uh, replace all of the guys on our team. And so I was to be able to see them again, to play with them again. Um, there's no other words. I, I, was, I was just delighted. It's definitely like different than last year, of course, because of uh, everything that's been happening with the pandemic. But I feel like we have a good group of girls um, this season, and we're all like, because of the different circumstances, we're learning to adapt well, and we are trying to like get to know each other as best as we can, and of course, like give it our all at practice and have a really good season, even though it's been cut short. I mean, I'm excited that we get to even have a season at all, even if it's been cut a little bit short. But. Um, I mean, we're just trying to get in as much playing time as possible, and I'm excited to, you know, play matches still and have practices. The Darien Gymnastics team will hold virtual meets this season at the Darien YMCA. Gymnasts are not required to wear a mask while performing, but must put on a mask immediately after finishing their routine. Well, it's super exciting that we're actually having a season. Um, I'm so thankful that we're going to be able to compete and have something semi-normal. We have about seven new freshmen. Um, they're all going to contribute really, really well to our lineup, which I'm super excited for. And this year, I think our team is going to come out really strong. Before hitting the slopes, the Darien ski team held dry land workouts at the newly renovated tennis courts at Darien High School. Mount Southington is once again the Waves' home hill, a place where they've had plenty of success in the past. We hope you enjoyed this DAF Media Winter Preview. Thanks again for watching. My name is Ted Brennan. Stay safe, wear a mask, and we'll see you all soon.